Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today, as you can clearly see, I've got the Necromunda Dark Uprising box set here. Now this isn't just mine, it belongs to everyone. And not everyone is in, like, everyone, but everyone is in our channel. Um, some of the models are for Sparks, a few of them might even be for Liam. The scenery is going to be used by all, and the not Judge Dreads, Dread Modelly Dreads, the not Arbites, whatever they're calling forces, and that's it. Um, uh, Vince's. So, yeah, it, it, it's a community project, and I have to say... This box is huge. It's October, so I thought I'd drop in a little bit of orc language there. So, without further ado, we're going to slide this bad boy off. Now, unless I wanted to film from the ceiling, there's no clear way to get this box in. Um, it's big. I mean, look at that. Um, hand for scale. Okay, that doesn't work, so I have a tiny little hand like a baby. Um, bubble wrap. That's brilliant. I'm going to keep that for the boys later. As in my children, not as in the boys. Like the TV show. So, first sprue that you get is the same sprue that you get with uh, Necromunda two-player start set. Which is a load of walls and barricades and some toolkits and stuff and some little computer terminals. And this is all good stuff and I'm super excited to get this. Um, obviously I do have them previously, but I built them up very generically. I glued all the lids on on these boxes. I'm not going to do that this time. Um, yeah, I'm super happy about this. Always good to get extra walls and things like that to really spruce up both your 2D or your 3D scenery. Next thing we've got is some pipes. And again, these are just the standard pipes you get, I believe, from the um, set. But they're really, really nice. Um, I've always been a big fan of them. I do intend to get more. I've got a couple that I bought to, you know, attach to some of the, um, well, Necromunda scenery that's not Necromunda scenery. I guess it's all the industrial scenery stuff by Games Workshop. But these are cool, and you'll definitely be seeing a lot more of these on the channel. And then we start getting on to the new stuff now, I believe. And these are the bulkheads. Um, or at least I believe they're the bulkheads. Um, obviously, as you've seen, I've just unboxed it so I can only really go by what I know is in the contents so you get one two two of that one then you get this with some platforms and some stairs so that you can take your 2D two and a half D so you get one two of those so far and then we've got another couple of these uh, another two there so you've got four sets so far um, then we got this, which is like a big set of mechanical doors. And my god, look at the thickness on that plastic. That's really, really nice. Weirdly, this feels like Games Workshop plastic as well, not cheap Chinese plastic like a lot of the scenery is. So that's really good as well. So you get one of those. Um, we got some more bulkheads with different kinds, because these are the ones with the like the square roofs. So these are like the bulkhead bulkheads, like blocks, of which you get two. Three, uh, four, these are all identical from the look of it. Five, and six. So you get a lot of crap with this. And then you get this, which is some more little square bulkheads with some ladders. And ladders are always good in Necromunda, especially if, like me, you play as Goliaths. Because otherwise you can't get up anything because you're slow... And you're a bit crap. So you get two of those. Um, yeah, I'm assuming there'll be some instructions and stuff in here. We'll have a look at the models in a second. Um, kind of sad now I split this with the guys. Because I want it all. I do. Um, absolutely love this. Hopefully this will go on the wall of our gaming club. If we're ever allowed to go back into our gaming club. Because the northeast of England is absolutely moronic and we're back in another lockdown because we can't do simple simple things so you get all the instructions here we're not going to look at those because they're just instructions you get a cool little new stories from the underhive um, and then terminal overkill and it advertised on the other side now obviously that's just spam but it's good spam because the games workshop and black library books are usually pretty darn good um you know me, I'm not a Games Workshop mark, certainly not these days, but I do still love my Black Library. Um, or at least 
40k etc stuff i'm not a big fan of it any of the age of sigma law to be honest high fantasy just doesn't do it for me the same way proper old school fantasy does but here we go you get red and black dice to go with the other dice that i've got always welcome extra dice especially as we're about to start a campaign um another rule book um i have the most recent copy of the rule book i think it came out after this but i'm not quite sure but either way i've got the most up-to-date rules in one of the many rule books i've got there's your bases kind of want to keep these but obviously I, if the guys are getting the models i'm gonna to have to share them out because otherwise they'll get a bit peeved you get the cards and we might look at those in a separate video but they'll be standard cards um you get your templates i am an old school template kind of guy so i approve of this message um <laughs> then you get Obviously, the generic range ruler that Games Workshop like to throw out in things, although this is the Necromunda one. I got some of these when Necromunda was released and we did the pre-orders and stuff. So you get this big bag which comes with the mat. Um, and the mat is like a canvasy type of thing. It's like a vinyl, sorry, not canvas. Um, and it's really nice. We'll go a bit higher. So it's double sided. This is one side with the. And then this is like the red. Now, I don't know obviously how this matches up, but they are the same colour scheme um, as the tiles that you get in the original. Start two player star set. Not the original as in back in the day. Look at this. In what universe do Games Workshop give away baggies? Games Workshop, you've changed and it's for the better, my friend. So here's obviously some extra tokens, which again always comes in handy. We're playing a six-person campaign. Six people, the amount you're allowed to meet up in when we're not in extreme lockdown. It's as if it was planned. Um, and then you get obviously some little necrom under transfers. Now, we all know I don't use transfers for the most part because FM, FM deep. But yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the models now. So the first sprue we're looking at, I believe, is Enforcers. Um, and there you've got, obviously, the little bodies. It's typical uh, Necromunda. It's in a lot of parts, which, again, some people really dislike. I really like because I'm still a bit of a sad purist, really. And monopoles and push fit models just anger me. <laughs> like a giant child I, I absolutely despise them i do so these two sprues look exactly the same so we'll only look at one of them but it's got your shields and it's got some of your weapons on there and um, you go across and you can see a lot of bits necromunda i would say is a game that's not for well everybody but no it, it's definitely not um yeah for beginners in terms of putting the models together. I definitely suggest beginners play it because it's fantastic. I would suggest everybody plays it. Necromunda is, was, and always will be one of my favourite games. Going right the way back to when I first got into the hobby back in the early 90s, right the way up to now. So yeah, and these are the mutanty, flesh, corpsey peoples is, whose name escapes me right now because although I did prepare for the video, I, I did not prepare to fail, and I am failing, but yes. You can see these are really cool, and I want to kind of steal some of these weapons for uh, some of the other gangs that we have, because they're really, really good. But it all depends on what people want from these sprues first. Um, I know Liam is quite excited by this particular gang, as is Sparks. Um, I might just tell him to screw it and keep them. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, and then you get three sprues of that, which is really, really cool. So yeah, this is the set. Now it retails at, I think it's like 170, 175. You can get it in varying places for anywhere between 136, I think was the lowest I saw, up to around about 150. Um, it's a good set. The scenery is absolutely fantastic and it's worth it for that alone. The mat's pretty cool. Extra tokens, extra dice are always good. If you haven't already got the rule book, it's really good. Though I do recommend the PDF version of the rules because it's not as thick and it's easier to carry about with you. Um, you buy it once and I've got it on two tablets and a phone. Um, but yeah, whatever suits you. One thing I would say is that some of my cards here are damaged um, and that pees me off slightly. Um, 
I could probably contact Games Workshop and they'd sort it, or I could go back to, you know, Firestorm Games and they could sort it for me. But at the end of the world, it's just like two cards, maybe three. Um, I'm not going to lose that much sleep over it. In fact, let's have a look and see how many cards it actually is. Because if it's a lot of them, obviously, that will change my tune. And I'll, I'll, you'll get to hear me rant on camera. And I don't do that as often anymore. Because I only tend to stick with stuff I really like. So one, two. Two cards and they're both the settlement cards. So it's not the end of the world. I'm certainly not going to be throwing a tantrum or contacting Games Workshop about it. Because, fuck it, what's the point? I do apologise. I don't tend to swear in videos. Um, but yes, yeah, so you do get some blank cards. And you get a lot of blank cards. Which is good. Uh, we've been printing out our own. And we've also bought some separately. So... Uh, looks like we're getting an upgrade, boys. Um, but yeah, so in the cards, anyway, you get settlement cards, you get the wasteland cards, hab levels. So these are all for the uprising campaign territories. You can see at the bottom there. Um, and that's all these. And then you get the enforcers tactic cards. And then you have the Corpse Grinders, that's the names, I knew it, I didn't just read it there. Their Tactics Cards, and then as I said, you get blank cards so that you can fill out your gang as you want. Now, do I think this set is worth the money? Absolutely I do, it is a big expense, don't get me wrong. But it's like when you buy um, a lot of things in bulk. You pay a lot for it, but you actually save a lot of money in the long run, and that's exactly what you do with this. The scenery is really awesome. It's proper Games Workshop plastic, not cheap Chinese plastic. Um, so it should be, you know, the same. To be fair, though, the cheap Chinese plastic scenery that I previously got from Games Workshop has held up nicely. So I don't know why I always whinge about it, but I do like it better when it's the proper Games workshop -y plastic, when it doesn't look stressed. Um, just because you cut it off a sprue, that type of thing. But yeah. I really think it's good value. It is a lot to pay out all at once, though, if you're doing it on your own and not doing it as a group or anything like that. But yeah, guys, I really like it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Of course, give us a like or a thumbs up as it's known to the internet because it does certainly help with algorithms and stuff like that. And I know obviously our channel's not put out a lot of content recently. Uh, lockdown's got us all in a bit of a pain and frenzy, which I know we could do videos on it, but... They do the least traction on our channel. Gameplay and unboxing videos it tends to be our bread and butter. And we want to be doing gameplay videos. We're super excited for this campaign that we're doing for Necromunda. Um, currently, I've, I'm painting up my Goliaths. Nate's already painted up his Van Sars. Sparks is currently painting up Cordor, Corpse Grinders, and Escher because he can't decide. Um, I will have to paint up Alan's Escher because based on his um, Caradron Overlords or whatever they're called from Age of Sigma that he's been painting the same model for two and a half, three years. It probably won't get his gang done in time. I know um, Sparks has got Orlox. Vince has got Delac, but he's also toying with the Enforcers. Um, I think Liam actually picked up... I mean, Liam got... Orlocks. I don't know if I said Liam or Nate. Nate's got Van Sars. We've already established this. He's been putting up pictures. They look absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, um, Liam's done a me or a Kevin and he's dived right in and he has about four gangs. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you like this um, and you check out a couple more videos. Hopefully after that, you consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out. Those we've got up and coming and let us know what you want to see because we cover a lot of stuff on this channel. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Pretty dice cards, hope a smile upon you. Stay safe, keep your mouth covered when you're out and about and your nose. And yeah, just be kind to one another. It's really easy to do. So let's continue on with that trend. Take care, bye.